All right, I'll make a little video of my uh, launcher for my X-8 Skywalker X-8 FPV aircraft, and you can use it for other airplanes as well that I've been making for the last couple weeks. Uh, this is designed by Brett. I got off of RC Groups and did a fine job on it. With a lot of other guys that had gave me some really good ideas that uh, copied their ideas, they did. But he went all made out of aluminum. Real quick and easy to set up. I've made spring loaded rear legs here. Got an idea for a guy for safety pins here on the edge to keep these from changing position. These are my return shot cord bungees. This just plugs into there and safety pin here. made several different type of carriers to carry different style of airplanes locked in simply locked in place there and then I have a safety pin that I put in front until I get it all loaded up this guy just spreads out Crossmember piece up here to help stick the front legs a bit. The airplane just sits in this, and there it is, ready to go. These bungees right here are to help keep it from slamming into the end up there, even though I have bumper stops on it, but anyway, here we go. Whoops. Forgot to pull the safety pin. I've got these a little tighter than the top right now, so I actually have it set. If I take off one, it'll travel further. And there's the launcher. Now let me see if I can move my camera here. And we'll do that again. And back here. And launch it right there is the safety pin. Like I said, and I have these spring loaded right here on this. Yeah, using phenolic stops and screws here. The handle is just a piece of aluminum pipe. Put these over here to help protect the bolts from getting cut up. The bottom, just an eye bolt, 5 16th eye bolt. Skateboard bearings like he recommended here, and I've used Phenox spacers to keep everything even. This is two inch aluminum tubing, T6 aircraft aluminum tubing. And I'm using spear gun uh, silicone rubber for the deal, and I have knots in it so that I can actually just, adjust, since this is just a slip knot, and I made these Australian weave, I can just slip it up here to increase the tension on it. Right now, these are my safety return bungees that keeps it from slamming into the end of it up here at the end. 
even though I've got these rubber stoppers on here and you just get it Home Depot almost all the stuff has gotten at Home Depot uh, hooks except for some of the rubber and stuff like that uh, I, I, I did put a cross member on the front here to help hold the front legs little things it all it all folds down nice and compact I've made a couple different carriers for different plane wing designs, but this is the one designed for the X8. And we just simply stomp on it. And it launches your glider, or your X8. It's for my FPV thing so that you don't get cut by the prop. And I've got the second bungee, you see they're disconnected. If I wanted to increase more rubber bands on it to increase the load on it right now it's about 34 load pounds when both those are stretched to their full length each of my tube each of my tubes is four feet long so it's eight feet total he built hills it was six feet so mine's just a bit longer and these rubber bands are one quarter 25 percent the distance of the aluminum tubing so eight feet long tube put together I've made those uh, two feet each and I put a first set of knots like you said see right there so I can slip up on them and increase it just a bit brings it to like 39 I tried to set a clamps that he had before but like somebody else mentioned on RC groups they were uh, loosening up over time and they didn't hold these two pieces of aluminum together real, real good and there was actually a gap and a bow right here so I got these off of eBay and they're perfect they fit perfectly under the tray and hold it together real nice and tight one on one side and then one 100, 180% on the other side over here and see if you can, can you see it yeah on the bottom there could put them all four way around but two is just plenty and if I don't have a lot of tension loaded on it right now I can bring it down just push down on my lever which this pops out real simple by the way even though I've got it loaded in there I'll lift this up so you can kind of see but there's the tube down inside there and I did put a spring on it to help push that tube which is actually goes all the way to the middle section and is screwed in there and it has a springy tension on it and then when I push down on it relief pulls that pin down and lets the cradle go all the way down there to the end and I had a piece of aluminum round pipe that I just took a hammer and beat down square at one end and a little snap here for the end of the bolts that's down there in the middle so that I can just reach up in there give it a quick snap and it snaps into that bolt and then that's my foot lever piece of PVC three-quarter uh, or actually this is half inch uh, t-block here fit perfectly on that with some tape around it I just stuck that on there for anything right now it doesn't really need to be there like I said and that's foot lever that's just how compact it is and then I just simply put my foot on here and we press down and let it go well let's see if we've got the pin in here Right now I've got just about enough tension. I made these coiled around because that, that way I can adjust their tension or I can put two. I don't have the second one on there right now because it actually stops it from going all the way to the end. But I can actually change the tension on just this one so that I can get full travel out of it because I will be adding other rubber bands for more pull strength depending on the airplane that a specific airplane I intend to be launching. It actually sets the plane just right at a natural about five degree positive incidence the outside legs here are four feet as well 
to match the main boom. Each main boom there is uh, four feet long. The cradle actually comes back and rests right about the middle section, as you can see by the clamps right there when it hits its middle. That's right here is actually the split. So just about perfect. But there's my X8 launcher, and I'm planning on launching a lot of airplanes off of it. I've also got it set to launch my FMS Warbirds and uh, my P-51, the Falkwolf, and stuff like that for see how that works. So anyway, should be interesting. Hope you guys like, and thanks for watching. The X-8 launcher, catapult launcher, designed and built the conceptual idea by Brett from RC Groups. Great, great idea, Brett. Thanks a lot. Love the inspiration. Hope other people make it.